Okay, so we have this triangle here, and we want to find the area of that triangle. Now, it seems uh, at first glance is maybe not a difficult math problem. You're like, oh, yeah, that's easy. I found uh, the area of triangles before. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I need that formula, area equals one-half base times height. And uh, that's pretty good thinking. Okay, so if you were like saying to your, yourself, you're like, and you actually remember this formula, uh, that's very good. However, unfortunately, <laughs> this, it's not going to be so easy to apply this formula in uh, this problem. So we're going to need another approach. You could use this formula, but uh, in order to use it, we're going to need uh, some advanced mathematics to help us out. And there's another better approach to actually calcu calculate the area of uh, this triangle with this kind of information. So stick around here for a couple minutes. I'm going to show you exactly what that formula is and how to uh, use it. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over uh, several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, uh, I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here very shortly, uh, but I also do a lot in, in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, AccuPlacer, uh, CLEP exam, um, let's see here, uh, what other exams am I missing? Maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis or CBEST or CSET or a nursing entrance exam like the TEAS. There's a ton of... Um, different exams out there that have a lot of math on it. And if you don't do well on the math section on these exams, you don't do well do well on the exam. So that's, you know, not a good situation. So if you need help um, with your test preparation, just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. I should have what you're uh, studying. If I do not, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, also, I do a lot with independent uh, learners. Uh, like homeschoolers I actually have a great homeschool learning system. So uh, if you homeschool, you might want to check that out. And then obviously I help those of you that are struggling or having a difficult time in your current uh, math courses. Now, the one thing, if you are serious about uh, improving in mathematics that you got to do for yourself, no one can do this for you. That is no taking. Okay. So over decades of teaching mathematics, it's just uh, crystal clear to me. Those students who take excellent math notes, okay, almost always do very, very well in their class. And then the reverse is true. Those students who were like me way back in the good old 1980s in school, uh, what was I doing during math class? Well, I was talking to my friends, and they were talking to me, so I wasn't the only one. I was quite distracted, and my notes were like blank. And if there were anything on it, it was probably scribble scratch. You know, maybe I was just writing stuff down to you know, pretend, you know, when the teacher was looking at me that I was taking notes, but I was really, you know, uh, joddering, you know, I was just doing whatever, right? So you get it. You know, and I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to pick on you if this is your situation, because as a teacher, when you observe a classroom, you see everything. Okay. So just if, by the way, too, it's just a little, uh, uh, inside tip. Um, if you're a student in that classroom, okay, and you think the teacher is not seeing what you're doing, you better think again because teachers really see a lot more than you probably think. And you observe activity. You see who's working. You see who's not, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, I paid a price. It wasn't until later on when I went to college that I actually learned how to become a good uh, uh, student. But the bottom line is this, okay? You have to take notes to remain focused. Focus is the key, okay? So focus is the key to learning anything. And uh, the only activity I know of that will keep you extremely focused and you need extreme focus when you're learning uh, mathematics is uh, note taking. OK. All right. So uh, in the meantime, as you're improving in your notes, because I'm pretty sure most of you need to, I offer uh, detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry and uh, algebra two and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Now, uh, let me just kind of say a little quick heads up here. I'm kind of fighting a little seasonal allergy, so if my voice breaks up, please forgive me, but guess what? That's not going to stop me from trying to help you uh, learn mathematics. So let's continue on and uh, figure out the area of this triangle. Now, by the way, if you think you know how to do this problem, go ahead and pause the video and do it. But uh, let's get to it, okay? 
All right. So here is our triangle, and here is our trusty formula. Area equals one-half base times height. So again, uh, if you were thinking, oh, uh, I, I know how to find the area of a triangle. I use this formula. The problem is uh, with this particular formula, you need uh, these two pieces of information. So you need the base. Now, any one of these uh, sides could be the base. If I kind of rotate the triangle, uh, and I don't want to kind of get too far into um, too many side topics here, but the four could be the base, the five could be the base. But let's just look at this triangle the way it's kind of uh, in its current um, form. Uh, so this right down here, let's consider that the base. So, okay, I have the base. So if this is the base, okay, I need the height. Okay, so what's the height? Well, the height is going to be from here to here, okay? So this is the height of the triangle. Well, I don't have the height, okay? Uh, and I need the height to use this formula. So how do I get this piece of uh, information? How do I get that? Well, you're going to need some additional mathematics, okay? There's some things you could use from geometry. Uh, we could actually find the angles. Uh, using the law of uh, sines, law of cosines. And this is kind of pretty sophisticated stuff. Again, you could use uh, some uh, geometry um, and properties of triangles, but what I'm going to share with you is an awesome formula. Just, you know, something like this. This is a formula to calculate the area of a triangle. Well, guess what? There's another formula that we can use to find the area of the triangle when we have the sides, only the three sides of a triangle. And by the way, uh, this particular triangle is just, uh, maybe it's like a, it's a scaling triangle. In other words, uh, it's not a right triangle, it's not obtuse or acute. Well, you could uh, make the uh, case for uh, this maybe being an acute triangle, but uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, but this is stuff that you learn in geometry. The bottom line is we have a triangle and we have the three sides of a triangle and we wanna find the area, okay? So, whether it's a right triangle, uh, uh, obtuse, or acute, uh, we can use this formula. So let me get to that formula right now, and then we'll go ahead and calculate uh, the area. Okay, so here is our triangle, and here is the formula. Okay, so let's take a look at this formula. So here is a, a triangle with sides A, B, and C. And uh, here is the, the formula for the area. However, let's not look at this uh, right now. Let's look at this part. We need this S. And S, okay, we need S to use this. Okay, so let's just look at what S is. So S is, uh, we're gonna add up A, B, and C. Okay, we're gonna add up the sides of the triangle and divide by two. So when we calculate this out, this is gonna be this number S. Okay, so now, now that we have this S, we can find the area of this triangle by taking the square root of all of these things right here. We're gonna take S, okay, whatever that number is, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're gonna multiply it by S minus A, okay? So whatever this value is right here, we're gonna plug it in right there, we're gonna subtract this length right there, okay? And then we're gonna to continue to do the same, we'll plug in our S right there, and then we'll subtract B, and then S right there, and we'll subtract uh, C. Okay, so we just got to basically follow this uh, formula very specifically, okay, by first calculating S, then plugging in the respective uh, values for these variables, and uh, doing the number crunching, and then we can find the area. Uh, obviously, uh, having a calculator will be very useful for this exercise. Okay, now, if you think you got the idea, and you're like, okay, now I can uh, uh, do this problem. So here we have four, five, and six, now that is our triangle, okay? And here, I'm kind of trying to put it in uh, where you can kind of still see. Well, you know, let me just move it here. because so I want to give you an opportunity to actually do this problem before I do it because really it's just an application of following a uh, formula, okay? And you need to be able to follow formulas in mathematics. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a whirl and see what you come up with. Don't be shy about using a calculator. Uh, to assist you. You're definitely going to need one, but, uh, you know, plug in all the values, do all the number crunching, and uh, if you don't want to see the answer, go ahead and put it on pause because I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution right now. Okay, here we go. By the way, I failed to mention, and this is probably, you know, I was really going to uh, 
you know, make a mistake here by not mentioning what this formula is. Okay, this is uh, Heron, Heron's formula. Uh, it's kind of pronounced different ways, but anyways, uh, this is how it's spelled. Uh, Heron's formula. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boy, it's that time of year where I'm fighting these uh, allergies. But uh, so forgive me when my voice breaks up. But anyways, this is the name of this formula. Super. Uh, famous. This guy was just uh, like a superhero in geometry. So many uh, uh, huge uh, formulas or names uh, behind the formulas, like the Pythagorean theorem was named after uh, Pythagoras, which was like this just awesome uh, mathematician. I mean, these these are and these are guys too that lived like you know thousands of years ago. So it's pretty crazy, you know. Uh, but people were able to figure out, you know, all this time ago, but, uh, and we use it today, right? So this is the name of the formula and this is the formula. And now let's get to it. Okay. All right. So again, this is, uh, really an application in number crunching. So here is our side ABC and we're going to start off by first finding, uh, S. So we're going to, uh, uh, add up each of these sides, uh, four, five, and six right here and divide by two. So let's go ahead and do that now. So S is gonna be four plus five plus six. And then when we divide that by two, of course that'll be uh, 15, uh, divide that by two is 7.5. So we're gonna plug in our 7.5 here, 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 and here. And then we'll plug in the respective uh, sides of the uh, triangle in these uh, spots. And then we'll do all the number crunching. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at what that looks like. And here it is. I kind of uh, spared you all the number crunching. So this is S, right? So S is 7.5. And now we have 7.5 or S minus one uh, leg of the triangle, which is four. And then we have 7.5 minus the other leg, which is five and 7.5 minus six. Now mo notice that this is uh, in parentheses grouping symbols. So you do have to calculate this out, uh, these individual numbers, and then multiply this times this, uh, the result of that and the result of this and the result of this. So you're gonna have this product. Once you have that, then you take the square root and you're gonna get 9.9, .9, okay? And that is the area. Of course, we don't have any uh, units of measure here. In other words, if this was like centimeters, uh, for example, uh, our area would be in uh, centimeters squared. So just keep that in mind. But in this case, 9.9 uh, .9 is the answer. And there you go, okay? This is how you find the area of problems like this. This is a great formula, and it's something that I would definitely suggest you put into your notes, okay? Because a problem like this could very well come up again in your future. You never know, okay? All right, so if uh, in some way you kind of liked this video, you enjoyed it, you're like, oh, I learned something, well, then please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for well over 10 years. I have uh, a lot of videos, maybe like over a thousand. I don't even count. Uh, what I do is I really uh, explore how I can help uh, those of you out there learning mathematics. On my channel, by the way, you'll find various uh, playlists organized from basic to advanced mathematics. Um, and my goal is to really teach math in a clear and understandable way. Nobody should be failing math these days, okay? Um, if you're struggling in math, uh, again, start with your note-taking. It's probably, you know, you got to do your part as well, right? You can't just be blaming it on your teacher. Eh, I know a lot of people, including myself, I'm sure, I was like, ah, my teacher is terrible. Well, you know, your teacher can't take your notes for you. you got to do your part, okay? So if you're working hard and you're talking to your teacher, getting extra help, and even if you're, that's not enough, then there's a, tons of uh, resources uh, today that, uh, you know, you can, you're can you going to have to take the initiative to help yourself. So if you like my teaching style, there's a ton of uh, stuff on my uh, uh, channel, and I'm posting new material all the time. But uh, my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.